So my trusted old projector, the Sanyo PLV Set 2000, which is now, uh, I guess, eight years old, has finally given out. Uh, the lamp seems to have um, run its useful life. So I need to replace it. So I bought a lamp, a replacement lamp. This one was bought on Amazon. It cost around 40 euros. And I have the owner's manual from projectorcentral.com. It shows you how to change this. So um, let's try this. It should be straightforward. I've unplugged it quite a while ago. So it should be cool and it should be cold. Um, and uh, let's get to it. According to the owner's manual, you have to go out to the back. I think this is the place where the lamp casing is uh, hidden. So I'll attempt to replace that and see how that goes. It should be fairly easy. Let's uh, have a look at the lamp first of all. So a lamp for a projector is not just a lamp, it's a housing and everything. So this is what arrived, let's see. Packaging is quite nice. It's difficult to do one-handed. Okay, so here's the lamp. Yep, looks okay. So to open up the Sanyo, I'll need to remove two screws here in the back. Um, and that should be it. So let's get to it. Oh, maybe I can put the phone down there. Yeah, should be able to, should be able to see it. Okay, so this is where the lamp sits and it looks mm -hmm. let's see how that goes. I think we should need to loosen these two and you should then be able to pull this whole housing out. There it is. Here we go. So that is the old bulb that I don't think works anymore. This has had many, many hours in it. We have a uh, don't remember exactly when we bought this projector, but it's at least six or eight years ago, and uh, it's been used for movies, and it's been used for, uh, it's been used for PlayStation, Apple TV, and many other things. So as you can see, the this is the old one. This is a new one. They look identical. Yep, there's a filter here on the side of it. As you can see, it's quite clocked up on the old one. Connectors and everything seem to be exactly the same. 
Now, bulbs for this projector range widely in cost. I've seen them from 200 euros all the way up to, well, all the way up to 200 euros right now, as of October 2017. Oh, maybe I need to push that in a little bit further. There. Uh, and as I said, I bought this one for 40 euros on Amazon. So I hope it works. Okay. That was pretty easy. Two screws, one down there, one up there. Don't confuse it with the little screws in there that hold the actual bulb into the housing. So yeah, so the bulb points this way and then it reflects up forward through the projector. So now all that's left to do is put the outer housing back in. Let's see if I can put the phone down there. That seems pretty easy. So it's got, if you can, it's got two little plastic sockets that I need to put it into there. And then just clip it in. And then these two screws I removed before need to go back in. There, one. So you don't need to tighten these screws too much, actually. As long as they have a little bit of grip, it's fine. They don't need to be super tight. They just hold a piece of plastic in place. They're not structural bearings or anything like that. While you're at it, you should clean your filters. The big air filter is back here as well. To open it up, you lift this little tab here, and there's a little plastic thing that comes out. And this is your main air filter. Now you can use a compressed air uh, bottle and just a uh, Blow this clean. This is, I mean, there's some dirt on it, but I think air flows through it just fine, so I won't do anything with it right now. I have cleaned this air filter perhaps two or three times over the life of this projector. So even though this projector is, oh, just clip that in there. even though this projector is, well, it started production in 2007, so it's technically 10 years old. Well, the technology is 10 years old. It's full HD, and it still gives a beautiful picture. Um, and it's great for, for movies, it's great for, for video games. We have it hooked up to our PlayStation 4. So, that's it. New ball pin, I'll put it in place and see if it works. So here the projector is up on uh, on top of the furniture where it lives. Uh, as you can see, all I need to plug in is HDMI and a power cord, and then turn it on up here. And you could say that there's not a lot of venting room above it. Maybe that's not the best for a projector like this. Um, it's also pretty close to the wall back here. I mean, right now I still need to turn it 90 degrees uh, because it has to project uh, this way forward to the screen over there. So let's, um, let me turn it. Oh, I've got to put the phone down and do this. There it is, in place. You can see if it sits on top of the rack. There's not a lot of stuff in the rack right now because we removed uh, the PlayStation, put that upstairs while we were waiting for the new bulb to uh, come or the new lamp. Uh, there's, a, there's a Samsung TV that I, I've plugged in just to, so that I can uh, adjust things on the amplifier or the receiver and you know so I can listen to music and control that without having to turn on the projector because uh, if I'm just sitting down here working or something I don't want to have to turn on the projector just to uh, control some audio so I use the, the 
TV for that. But um, let's see if this works. I probably have to adjust it now, but here we go. So when you first turn it on, it takes a few seconds to uh, heat up. Then it uncovers. I like the I like that it um, that the lens is covered when it's not in use, because that is um, that's most of the time. So you don't actually have to go up and clean the lens, because in, not a lot of dust gets settled on it when when it's off. So um, I'm trying to turn off the lights a little bit here so we can see if any. Oh, ho, so immediately. Is a good sign. As you can see, some kind of light is coming out. Yep, the bulb is doing something. Now, I have to readjust it because now I've physically moved it. And nothing's actually plugged into it, but hey, if I, if I turn on my amp down here, maybe I can just... Uh, maybe I can turn on the Apple TV. Apple TV plugged in, that should be able to work. Just as a proof of concept, we've got an Apple TV. Oh! Hey! The new bolt works! I'll need to physically move the projector a little bit so the image aligns. One of the things I like about this projector is the adjustments, the lens shift, vertical and horizontal. It's got a you can you can displace the image vertically and horizontally a lot, which means that you have quite a lot of freedom of where to uh, put your projector. Um, in our previous home, it, it was hanging upside down, uh, quite a bit closer to the screen, but here it's nicely located. Let's see. Nicely located way, way at the back. So it's far away from the screen and still, I don't know how far that is, six meters, five, six meters. Still, it gives a very nice image. So there's a lot of light in here. There's even a window over in the back. But as you can see, good colors. Uh, I'll probably have to, I still have to adjust it a little bit now that I've moved the projector. So I have to set the focus. Yeah, but overall, looks good. It worked. So changing a lamp on a on an almost 10 year old projector is certainly worth it. This projector cost around 1500 euros, I seem to remember, when it was new. And it's been great. We've used it many, many hours. So a new lamp for the cost of 40 euros. Hopefully that should give us uh, many years of uh, usage again. So how did we know, how did I know the lamp, we had to change the lamp? Well, you basically turn it on and as you saw, the, the cover slides to, to one side and then after a few seconds it, it turns on the bulb. So what happened was it would slide to one side, it would open up, and then after a few seconds no light would come out of it and would just close back down again. So yeah, guessing it was the bulb and uh, certainly seems that way. And just uh, There's this window over here that gives us quite a lot of light. <sighs> darken it so you can really appreciate the great image uh, you get from this projector and this uh, is this projector has several modes uh, this is in the low power mode so the image isn't as bright I, I prefer that it's I mean the, the projector is much less noisy I go up to it here I mean you cannot hear it even if I turn the music on it is very, very quiet. Even by today's standard, this is one of the quietest uh, projectors ever. It has a... You can see the fan in there. Which I think is a 12 centimeter fan, I'm not sure. But it makes hardly any noise at all. Very, very quiet. 
and if you put it to a high mode or whatever it's called so that it gives a little bit brighter image it makes a little bit more noise and not much but actually I prefer this image quality if you're viewing it in a dark room and it looks uh, it looks excellent so thank you for watching